So how do I feel about hunting? You know, it's almost uh, hunting season for different types of uh, animals such as deer, etc. as I make this video. Uh, so I want to share my thoughts on hunting and the subject of it. Uh, first, I want to put it in context because you have to put everything in life in context in order to have a healthy mind and a healthy perspective. So first is I did not grow up in a family that uh, hunted. I grew up in a populated suburb um, and hunting was not common in the township I grew up. That being said, um, I definitely uh, knew people that did hunt uh, through uh, their family members that lived uh, a little bit away from where I grew up, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and I appreciate that certain people who grew up in that culture where they bonded with their father or relatives through the act of hunting, there is an emotional connection for them with hunting. They make the emotional connection of going out and hunting as a bonding and a memory building um, place in their being of connecting with their family members and expressing love through a bonding act. So for many people uh, that disagree with hunting and that you know speak up against it, People on the other end of the spectrum who had grew up as hunting as part of their culture and part of their family bonding, they feel attacked and they get defensive. So I appreciate the two different mindsets on the subject. Okay. Also, in context, if you eat meat, you can't necessarily be against hunting because you're eating animals. Um, and, you know, there's no way around that. And you have to be fair. Uh, and... I now have a, a adapted and adopted a plant-based diet where I don't eat uh, any animals uh, or animal-related products for the most part. Now, once in a while, I have fish. Uh, now, fish are um, a little bit different in nature. Depending on what research you do, fish have different uh, nervous systems than most animals. And some, sign, st some, some studies show that you know, fish do not feel pain as other animals. They don't have the nerve receptors in their brain. Uh, so there's a little bit of debate there on, you know, it's a different feeling for a fish to get killed than a deer uh, based on certain nerve receptors. So I'm trying to put everything in context, but my overall message and my overall opinion, opinion and my perspective, because I want to be fair and I want to put things in context. And then I also want to be bold enough to have an opinion, to think for myself, to share that in a modern day society where hunting is not needed to survive. Because again, in context, there was a time where hunting was needed for human survival, to eat, to nourish yourself. Now, when you are able, we, I mean, we almost have overfood uh, availability. And that's why there's a lot of, of overweightness uh, or obesity, I should say. That's a better word to describe it. But in today's modern society, at least in America, there's different countries that have different uh, society uh, standards, etc. I do not, I don't personally agree with hunting, especially if you're not going to eat the animal. Um, now if you still eat meat and you disagree with hunting, I mean, you, you can't really do that. Now I no longer eat meat, but I once did. So I'm not bashing. I'm not a PETA mindset. I'm not throwing uh blood or red paint on people and saying you're evil for hunting. No, I'm not doing that. I'm trying to, I, I tried to be very fair and start this video and put it in context and show the different mindsets and perspectives. Uh, so I'm not radically against hunting. My personal opinion is that I don't agree with it, uh, specifically for sporting. For just for the sport of hunting, I do not agree with it. I think it's wrong. That being said, I understand some people may use it as a bonding experience, but we have to also be mature enough that there's many things that previous generations taught us that were not right. And that we have evolved as a society and our minds and our habits and our behaviors should also evolve. Um, and also studies pretty much show for, on average, you know, people are healthier when they adopt a vegetarian or piscatarian, which is, you know, a little bit of fish in your plant-based diet, but just an overall plant-based diet. Um, you know, I, I, I don't, I don't feel good when someone tells me they're going hunting and they're getting ready to kill an animal. Okay. Uh, but I'm fair in understanding that I used to eat animals, so I'm a hypocrite for saying that in some sense, but I don't anymore. And as I grow and mature and as I get more in tune with nature uh, and, and my own perspective, uh, that's my feeling on it. And I definitely think it's wrong if you're doing it purely for the sport. Uh, definitely like, you know, you see people that go on different uh, hunting um, 
hunting vacations and they killed wild animals just to mount them, etc. I think that's wrong. And I don't care what culture you grew up with. I mean, you have to at some point say, look, I grew up, my father was great, my parents were great, they taught me this great thing, we bonded, but I don't believe in it. I, I disagree with my parents. And so as you become older and mature, don't just agree with your parents because that's what they taught you. And that's all their parents taught them. You have to at some point think for yourself. So my thoughts are, I disagree with hunting specifically as a sport. I even tend to disagree with it for eating because I think that society is healthier and better and healthier and better when we adapt and adopt a plant-based diet. Uh, science and studies show that. Uh, but again, I'm leaving a little bit of room for fairness. I'm trying to be very fair. Uh, and also, I'm trying to understand that you're never going to please everybody. So as hunting season begins, specifically with deers, I mean, I cried like a baby when I saw Bambi. Oh, I mean, you want to watch Bambi and then go hunt? Not for me. Not for me. All right. That's my opinion, my perspective. I, I respect if you have a different one. I'm sharing mine. I'm putting my voice out there and I'm not being an echo. I'm thinking for myself and I'm giving fair minded perspective. And it is what it is. That's my thoughts on hunting and how I feel about it. All right. Stay inspired.